Okay, so this is how I light up my background here. And I think this will work for other people, I hope. And I also have one of the lights that I use. This will be a giveaway as well. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you get a key light. My key light is right here. So you have a key light right here. This is also my audio, but my light light. So you have one key light. I have an umbrella here just to diffuse the light. It's just a one by one LED panel. Um, it's pretty, not that expensive, I don't think. You can get pretty cheap ones now. So yeah, make sure you get one key light. I have mine on a C stand, but you can also just put on an A stand because these are kind of, I mean, A stands are cheaper. And then also if you can, make sure you have some depth in the background. I mean, I'm shooting on a 24 millimeter lens, F1.4 Sigma. So it gives a shallow depth of field. I don't have a lot of depth in my background here. So that's why I shoot at such a low aperture. Always turn off all your other main lights. That's the main light in this room here but uh, actually both the fluorescent light bulbs are dead. So yeah, always turn off your main lights. And then if you can, use some practical light. Practical lights are basically the lights that you can visually see in the background. So it could be LED light, could be a computer screen. I do have a little lamp back here that I was using in the beginning. I don't really like its placement, so I, I usually turn it off now. You should use practical lights only when they have a dimmer too, because you don't want them to be overexposed. I do have a small dimmer on this one. I would turn it down to that level if I was using it. The practical lights suggest like that's where the light's coming from, but it's not true at all, right? And then also if we wanted now, we could put above here a backlight. We could put like a blue backlight up here and it would make sense because we have this LED here. And we could put an orange backlight over here and I'd have like two, like an orange, an orange, edge on this side and a blue edge on this side, and it would make sense. You don't see those lights. You're, you're just using the practical lights to suggest that's where the light's coming from. So yeah, if you can use some practical lights. One other one I'm using, which is what I'm talking about here with this LED today, is under my desk. It's kind of like, well, I don't know. I just like it because you don't see the light at all, actually, the practical light. You just see this glow coming from the bottom of the desk. And it looks, it just looks interesting to me. That's all, that's the only reason I'm doing it. It's kind of fun. So I'm gonna set another one up on the other side today um, under my wife's desk. And hopefully it looks really cool. We'll see, maybe I'll do a different color. What's also cool about this LED strip light is that it's pretty cheap. I think you can get it for like 10 bucks. There are more expensive ones, like 30, 50 bucks, but you can just stick them onto things and, or you can tape them on. That's just taped underneath. That's actually, I took my screw, my thumbnail, I took just from sitting under that desk. Yeah, you can change the color on this and you can tape them anywhere. This one's a USB one. I got a USB one just in case I wanted to take this on set somewhere or take this, yeah, just use it somewhere else and like tape it on somewhere, like inside a car or something like that. It would be really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna set this one up now on that desk and let's see what it looks like, see how, if it looks any different. It actually looks so durable. <laughs> like, this one might even be waterproof. I'm not sure, it smells plasticky. This is what it looks like. This is the USB, USB power adapter. It's, oh, it's got a, a, a remote here. Maybe I'll plug it in quick even and see what it's like. Got a battery power bank here. I feel like any kind of light that, that I can power the USB is, I don't know, I feel like pretty cool because it makes it so portable. And then I could just, Oh yeah, it is working. Okay, it looks like that brightens it. You click to brighten it, so it's got a little dimmer, that's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then, oh, it's flickering on the camera. That's annoying. All right, I'm gonna change the frame right now. Okay. I just put a ND filter on. Get an ND filter if you don't have one. They are uh, very important, especially if you're using LED lights. <laughs> Anyways, I'll link it in the description too, I guess. This is one of the best variable ND filters that I've found that doesn't change the color, like doesn't make it more magenta. There's no tint or anything like that, that much. Yeah, there you go. And you can just change the color. That's awesome. Ooh, what color. I'm probably gonna do like purple over there. To be honest, I've been kind of inspired to do this kind of color setup from Korean dramas. 
I feel like Korean dramas do. They're kind of shooting like this, like, oh, startup. They had so many colors, it was crazy. Maybe they're using these, I don't know. All right, let's go set it up with my wife's desk. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so I'm just realizing, I feel like it looks cooler when there's something instigating the light, like a practical light. So, I'm gonna try and move this Poksu LED. I did another video about that. You can, this card if you wanna see it. See if that makes it look any better. Okay, well, obviously this is something I have to work on, and I guess that's another thing. It's a work in progress. Setting up your background is always gonna change. Some things will look better, some things will look worse. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the Poksu sign? I definitely need to get something a little bit, another one of these LEDs to brighten it up underneath there. Anyways, though, I am giving away two of these if you guys wanna use them for whatever. I was gonna use King Sumo again, but it has restrictions on age and region. So some re some countries aren't able to enter or something. I don't know how it was working. So anyways, I'm just gonna do it based off comments. Tell me why you want this LED light, and then I'm gonna let you guys decide. So upvote the comments that you think should win, and then the two comments that have the most upvotes will win. And then we can exchange info, and I will send you the LED light. Okay, let's get back to the to the... Yeah, this is not sponsored by anyone or anything like that. I'm just giving it away. If you guys like this kind of lights and want to use them. I'm, I've been really happy with them. I really like this side and I'm going to try and replicate up this side. Just get a longer one basically. But if you're not, if you're doing something much smaller, I think it'll be fine. Or actually, yeah, it really just depends on your lighting setup. But anyways, hope you like the video, subscribe. And if you want one of these, click the link below. And uh, I don't think too many people are yeah, it's a small gift, but just want to give back to you guys as much as I can. So, thanks. All right, this is the final kind of thing you can do with this is, it's just fun having RGB lights that you can like tag, push, like tape onto things. So, um, I feel like you can just do cool stuff with these things. You probably do like light painting would be cool and kind of bokeh in the background. But yeah, that's it. I'll take one. Take a couple photos.